uh, my town is like Swindon, but without the character. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like three hours worse than Toronto. It's called Sarnia. Has anyone been to Sarnia? Oh, I know, like Narnia, but with more sandwiches. Relax. <laughs> it's not like that. It's nothing like that. Sarnia is a terrible, horrible place that has uh, the biggest petrochemical plant in all of North America. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> that petrochemical plant, I believe, pours poison into the air and into the sea, but officially it's very safe. Oh, trust me. The owner of the plant, Mr. Burns, tells us all the time <laughs> how safe it is. Uh, yet we are the teen cancer, teen suicide, and teen pregnancy capital of Canada. I know. <laughs> It's a Louis Thoreau special waiting to happen. There's nothing to do there but methamphetamines, and that's why I left. And I feel badly because I left my baby sister there. I mean, my parents had other children. By other children, I mean Joanne, but nobody likes Joanne. <laughs> Joanne went away as well. She went to the, uh, to the West Coast. Has anyone been to BC? Yeah, oh, go yes, you, of course, gorgeous. Joanne lives out there, uh, not in Vancouver, like not in the city, she lives up in the mountains, eh? With her husband, who's a Canadian rock musician. A Canadian rock musician is like a Christian rock musician without a reason for sucking, just so you know. Um, jo Joanne's the most Canadian person I've ever met. She lives up there, uh, she loves the planet. She makes all her own clothes on a loom, eh? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, she has no TV. She has no phone. So I'm not really in contact with Joanne, but if you see her, do tell her from me she is not a fucking bear. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea where she came from. The most logical explanation I have is that mom cheated on dad with a granola bar. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. But give me a cheer if you grew up with brothers and sisters. <laughs> so you know, you can come from the same place and be dramatically different. Carrie and I, the baby, Carrie and I were thick as thieves. I mean, we were thieves also. Uh, and she's very thick. And I say that in the nicest way. Uh, she's someone who's happy to grow up in Sarnia. And I think what kept us together is we played this amazing game when we were small. And maybe you've played it. It's called Relax. So uh, I would see Carrie at any point around the house. And if I felt like it, I would just be like, hey, Carrie, relax. And she'd be like, uh, I'm already relaxed. And I'd be like, whoa, whoa, relax, relax. And she'd be like, uh, Catherine, I, I'm already, re I'd be like, relax, don't hurt nobody, relax. She'd be like, Catherine, I am already relaxed. <laughs> At which point my dad, who's very big and mean and Irish and didn't let us shout in the house, he'd come stomping up the stairs like, who's shouting in the house? And she'd be like, well, Catherine told me to relax. And he'd be like, look at you, you should relax and should be punished. <laughs> it's a great game. <laughs> You can have hours and days and like years of fun <laughs> playing relax. But her best friends, you know, the girls who stay in the hometown, they were my enemies. My sister has aligned herself with my enemies. Now they tried to ruin my life in school. It's very hard to ruin the life of a child born with the confidence of an 89 year old man. Like I ran out of fucks to give in the spring of 84. I just don't care. <laughs> But uh, they, they made a newspaper. This is before the days of online bullying. Of course, they made a physical newspaper that they distributed around the school. Inside, it slagged off all my friends. But on the cover was a picture of me next to a picture of a camel. And it said, thank God for makeup. Ooh, like I was only upset that it wasn't a better joke. You know, like camel, head to toe. Something with a camel. And, and really, I look more like a horse, except when I got a top knot and then I am a unicorn. Um, I didn't mind, but the headmaster was very worried. All my friends, they, they cried, they went home. He dragged me into the office. The entire suicide prevention squad were there. Uh, and they were like, uh, Catherine, we are most worried about you, eh? Because... You are the only one who appears to be not upset. They thought I was like planning a school shooting. Uh, 